video, you'll see my husband and business partner, Phil, working with Tucker on the place, adding in some more down, staying with him. As of right now, we've mostly just done whatever position that he wants on the place. And then you'll also see our trainer, Rachel, working on the alley-oop training tool with Tucker. What this tool does is it trains your dog to go away from you, just like the treat and train. Um, it builds excitement in your dog. And eventually this can also help with task specific behaviors, such as turning off a light switch. And then it can also fine tune the heel position and work with heel turns and heel flips. So if you guys have any questions, as per usual, you can comment below. Make sure that your whole family, you can get your friends involved in your dog's training. Everybody's on the same page. Consistency is important and it's fun and it gets that love and respect from your dog from every member in your family. Tucker. Place. Keen. Good boy. Good. Place. Keen. Good. You can see when I say keen, I'm backing up my body. This way. Place. Keep. Good boy. Good job. Tucker. Place. Down. Good. Good. So now I'm using good that he understands that he's supposed to stay there. Good. I'm gonna follow the good up immediately with that food. Keep. Good boy. So now he knows he's free to go. Let's do it a couple more times. Tucker. Place. Good. Down. Good. Now he still needs a lure for the down, so as I'm luring him down, I'm going into his body and then I'm marking that good as well. Good. So again, the marker word good, following up with the food. So if he gets up, that's okay, he still stay there, so I'm just gonna lure him back, but I'm not gonna reward that because he did get up. Wait a second, I'll say good, and now I go back. It's important when you do this to talk out loud as well. A lot of dogs think that you're off the clock when you start talking to a friend or your phone answers or something like that. Good. When you're working on this as well, make sure you chunk it down. So don't start off by expecting them to stay five, 10 minutes at a time. Um, just start off by chunking it down into, you know, 45 seconds to a minute and then add from there. Good. In the beginning, you will be rewarding more frequently, uh, but then you can also start spacing it out. So I'm going to lure him back. Wait a second. Lure him back. Good. So I want him to understand that staying there gets you the reward out, not just laying down. Go this way, this way. Keen. Good job. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below.